Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. So right now we have the Samsung Galaxy A14 in front of us, but don't get mistaken that it looks like an iPhone. It's just because I have a launcher set up right here. It's from the previous video I made about changing app icons. Anyways, it's still the Samsung Galaxy A14. It's one of the most affordable phones, one of the most affordable and best Samsung devices, which I really like about it. And this video is about turning this device off. Of course, if you mean just locking, you of course have the power button on the right side, so you can see you have it right here. So if you just click it once, the screen is gonna become locked. But if you wanna just turn the uh, phone off together, what you have to do is to hold down on that button. So if you hold down on it, you are presented with the multiple options. So you can either power it off, restart, or emergency call. So if you just click on the uh, button at the top, it's gonna turn it off and nothing's gonna happen. You can just hold down on the power button again to re in, uh, like turn it on back again. But clicking on the restart button, it's gonna turn it off and back on even without you having to do anything. And that's what you need to click on depending on the option. By the way, guys, make sure to join my 100% free education platform. I just finished the Rush course video editing. You can go ahead and check it out in the classroom section, 100% free. Go ahead and check it out, no interruptions. Link is gonna be down below in the description. Of course, uh, using the side key or the power button as I called, there are more options to it. If you click on the side key settings, you can choose what happens when you double press it. So this, button it has multiple functions you can click it once to lock the device you can hold it to get to the power off slash restart section or you can double press it to click quickly turn on camera or open some kind of app which you pick so that's useful as well or you can just disable the feature altogether and nothing's going to happen when you double press the side button the side key the power button whatever you want to call it so that was just a very quick video something i wanted to show you because yeah it's a bit more basic but i just wanted to explain that so hopefully this video has helped you out and if you want to see more content and more videos similar to this one i would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up of course under this video so let me know you liked it and of course subscribe to the fox tech youtube channel thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the future peace out until then